Hey guys, this is Bobby from RenVision. Just wanted to follow up with the rest of the story on the oil sump plate from a 2008 Porsche Cayman. Now, when I bought the car about two years ago, after about a month of driving, I noticed that the, there was some oil leaking from the drain plug area. And it wasn't a lot, just enough to annoy me. You know what I mean? Just the little puddles under the car. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, not a bad thing, but come on. It had just had an oil change when I bought it, and they put on an Ellen Engineer magnetic drain plug. Now, I had remembered on Riddle, seeing a few accounts of people buying these plugs and experiencing some leaks. So the first thought was, well, I have a bad plug. I'm going to need to remove this thing and send it back to Ellen. But I decided since the oil wasn't a lot coming off the car, I decided to continue to drive it and just clean the oil up. So every time I would drive it, the oil would get hot, come home, and it would create a puddle. Then as the car would cool, there would be no more oil. I'd clean it up, drive the car, come back, it would leak a little bit, on and on it went. So I waited till um, about six months when I knew to do the oil change. And I was thinking, should I send this back or should I just see if this could be coming from someplace else? Because at the time, the oil had uh, spread all over the place, so I wasn't 100% sure it was coming from there, but it looked very much like it was just accumulating right there on the edge. So I decided to do a little test. So I changed the oil and purchased a OEM regular standard oil plug. Put it on there with the crush washer. Drove it for six months. Guess what? Still having the same oil leak. Changed the oil, put the uh, LN Engineering magnetic drain plug back onto the plate, put a new washer, and this time I added some sealant because some people on Rillin said you add a little sealant, solves the problem. So I put the sealant, put it back together, started driving the car, again, it's leaking from the same spot. So I was like, okay, this is not possible. You know, if I've tried the OEM plug, it leaks, and the LNB plug, it's got to be coming from someplace else. So I got out of the car and I cleaned the plate off like it is what you see right now. And I started noticing this little section right here. Do you see that in the camera? That is a crack. And if you can see right there, that's where it was accumulating and it would kind of puddle up right there to make you think it's coming from the plug. But in reality, it's coming from this crack. So I just dropped the, the plate today. And lo and behold, on the other side, you can see the crack all the way across right there. So, the, you know, when the, the oil would get hot, it'd thin up and it would make its way out of that crack and just enough to drip down. So, oh, and by the way, I'm glad I dropped the plate because um, the oil baffles also cracked in that area right there. You can see that. That's cracked right there in that same area. So that goes like this. Um, so here's my theory. When I first bought the car, I would take my daughter, um, who had just turned 16, for a ride. She had never driven a Porsche, so I took her to the local high school parking lot. They have a huge parking lot, but it has speed bumps all over the place. So here's my theory. One of us, while we were horsing around, hit that speed bump and hit it right there and cracked it. Didn't know that. And it's highly likely it may have led to this crack right here too. What does all this mean? Well, it means I almost blamed LN for something they didn't, didn't cause. So I think the moral of the story is don't rush to blame the vendor when the reality is I caused this, this problem. It's on me. More likely either me or my daughter <laughs> hit the speed bump, bottomed out, and it caused this crack. As you can see right there, it has been leaking for two years.
You guys have a great week, and I hope that you find the time to drop an oil sump plate because you never know if you might be dealing with a crack or you might have some debris in there that might be a more serious issue. So have a good week. I'll see you next time.